Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise. Back with the squad again, back with another discussion again. You guys seem to really enjoy the discussion the other day, so thank you for the awesome support. But there were also some uh, some confusion, some uh, some misconstrued, some discombobulation. I'm just throwing in some random words there. We spoke about various different things. If you guys watched that video, you'll know we are loving the demo, having a ton of fun with the gameplay, enjoying the weapons. But we did also speak about the graphics. And I think sometimes whenever you have those discussions about topics, topics like graphics, there's some kind of confusion as to sort of how people interpret that and uh, we want to kind of speak a bit more about that today because you know it is still a cool thing to speak about I do want to say, you know, thank you to everyone that's had a kind of, you know, that's sort of sent in all the replies and everything like that. If you guys got some craziness, like some people last time were downright rude, I tell you, I got no time for rude people. If you guys are going to be rude, you can go to the YouTube Shadow Realm. But if you guys have got constructive criticism, we love to hear it. So today we're back talking about that and trying to sort of clarify some of the things we spoke about last time. So, uh, guys, let me throw it to you. Yeah, so yeah, I was excited to read through like the comments and stuff like that. So many of you guys were like passionate about it and everything. It's intriguing because like when we're talking about certain topics on Monster Hunter, I don't see that type of response. But when it came to graphics, you guys were like, going on like, yeah, and insulted your firstborn child, you your mother, my dog. your sister, <laughs> kicked your dog and everything. So it's super interesting to see like how kind of disconnected graphics are from like the experience of Monster Hunter. But um, in general, when we we're talking about graphics as a whole, we we're talking about it as a visual, visual, uh, like a visual representation of mm. the uh, the game. You know what I'm saying? So it's be like aesthetics in there included, because some people were saying that we separate aesthetics and like the graphical performance mm. and all of that. But I think when we're talking about graphics, we're talking about textures, everything that you're looking at, and it was just like a really quick catch-all statement for that. And when we're talking in like review videos. Uh, a lot of the time it's quite hard to go through and be quite nuanced about uh, subjects or something like that because you've got like a limited amount of time but now we've got 40 minutes to talk about graphics I know that you guys got annoyed when we talked about graphics for like eight minutes in that video but now we've got a whole 40 minutes so I hope you guys enjoy so, get your yeah. popcorn get your popcorn like paradise you want to start off with this one or yeah so I think it's important to say just to everyone watching that you know monster hunter is a, a big game for the channel and a lot of the comments seem to think that none of us, and some people, even you, Arix, were like new to Monster Hunter and World. <laughs> like, uh, luckily, guys, people mad. corrected them that at, at least Arix, you know, is yo, an OG. But yo, the, yo, the, yo, the, yo. <laughs> yeah. let, me, let me pause. Like, run the VO of me at Freedom Unite like launch. I've got a video of me <laughs> at Freedom Unite launch with my PSP <laughs> talking about oh. <laughs> Teamwork, and that's like what eleven years now. That so, was yeah. that was yeah. that was mad. That was that was just a kind of throwback. Yeah, like like at least or, or like me and Two Six like like came in and freedom. You like you know back in the day, I I I wanted people to play Moss Hunter with me so much. I bought about five copies of the game to give it to people. I gave a copy to Two Six. <laughs> I gave a copy to my uni friend. I gave a copy to my, like two of my other friends just because I was like, please play this game with me. I've been there since Freedom Second <laughs> on PSP. Eleven is that eleven or twelve years now? It's a long time, and it's a long, it's a long, it's a long yeah, time. Yeah, we've been. been I've been playing. Time, I've been yeah. playing since then, and we've been covering the game. Like a lot of people often kind of forget this as well, because sometimes people sort of forget. You know, they because we cover so many games, they don't always remember this. We've been covering the game since three ultimate. My my tutorials back then were pretty rough because I was like super shy on camera and super shy on voice. But we've been covering this game since three ultimate. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, and I love it, apl it applies to all of us. All of us played Monster Hunter before World. We all are accustomed to handheld Monster Hunter. You know, uh, I think I think each of us probably has like over over two thousand hours, maybe even Easily. more, yeah, in yeah, like total Easily. Monster Hunter gameplay. So we're all That's, two thousand hours. Just very experienced with hunting monsters. No, 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 in terms of like playing all the Monster Hunter games in general, we played both versions. So we played the Japanese versions and the English versions, yeah. and we played basically everyone like twice, start yeah. from like for you to get gameplay for you. For people to come along and be like, oh, you guys don't play Monster Hunter, and the reason that you're watching this video very now, like right now, is probably because you've watched weapon tutorials, which is an idea that I came up with, and all of this other stuff. It's just mad. It's just mad to me, but. I'll take mm -hmm. it for what it is. I just think that you guys are passionate, and if you don't want to call me a true fan of the game, I'll take it. That's that's a lovely statement to me. <laughs> yeah. The, the reality is, a lot of the Monster Hunter videos, informative content, and guides have either been 
uh, impacted, gameplay captured or edited by at least one of us here. Like so, <laughs> it, we're all we're all very much Monster Hunter veterans, and I think that that is why we're very confident when we talk about you know Monster Hunter Rise and our opinions on it because we've all we're at home when we're playing Monster Hunter, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, each and every one of us owns multiple consoles and are you know. Like variety gamers, like we all play PlayStation, we've all played Xbox, we've all played PC, as well as like 3DS or going back DS and, and now Nintendo Switch. So we are also, you know, quite eclectic in our gaming uh, sort of taste. And so when we're talking about a game like Monster Hunter Rise, and we're referencing that, you know, the graphics uh, weren't great to us, it's because we play so many different games that have a, a wide variety of graphics, and we all understand. It's a Switch game and there's like limitations on that. And we'll get more into that exactly because I think there's an aesthetics conversation that we need to have which would hopefully change some people's opinion on the uh, the graphics of Rise. But when you're going from like, you know, G to GU to World and then to Rise, it does feel like a backstep. And of course it will because it's a Switch and there's limitations. But I think that comes down to their sort of choice, aesthetic uh, choice yeah. of uh, how to make Rise look, which is the traditional Monster Hunter aesthetic of being like, you know, high detail mm. with a big Japanese influence and, and stylized to a lot just of to Japanese culture. Just inject there very, culture. very quickly. I think, it's, I think it's also just, just important to kind of frame that as well, because I think sometimes when people hear that, they're just like, wait, what? Like when you say a back step, we're, again, we're speaking from, from the position of people that are super enjoying Rise and loving all the gameplay from it. So when we sort of say it feels like a back step, we're not saying it's a bad game. We're like, we're loving it. Like we're super enjoying it. But again, you can speak critically about something that you like and talk about how you would like it to be improved and still enjoy it. I think it just wanted to clarify. Yeah. Well, let me just make some statements the, before yeah. Paradise gets into anything. We all really enjoy Rise and think it's probably going to be one of the best Monster Hunter games. We mm. all think Rise looks good for a Switch game. Mm. Okay, good for a Switch game. And uh, we've all played Monster Hunter for a while. Those are three statements that I just want to get out there so that you guys have clarity on like what the point of view that we're coming from. Paradise, yeah. you can carry on. Well, for, furthermore, when we are talking about like a game, even if it's in this podcast discussion style, we're still like reviewing it, right? Mm -hmm. And so to re maintain some like integrity, you need to talk about the graphics. You need to talk mm -hmm. about the gameplay. You need to talk about how it feels. The performance those different things so to like leave out graphics just because it's a switch game would be disingenuous and wouldn't be doing other games their you know their diligence it's it's a 50 or 60 pound game if you're buying the standard or the digital edition and that's going to be coming up against you know games like uh horizon forbidden west or halo infinite or the new ratchet and clank game or even god of war this year so for a lot of people that are spending their 50 or 60 pounds they might not be able to buy every single game, so it comes down to a choice of do I pick up Rise, do I pick up God of War, do I pick up, you know, the new Horizon game. So it, it all comes into it together. Even if the gameplay is, like, really good and really fun, which we think, it still is a topic that matters hmm. when you're talking about a game in, like, a review sense. Uh, yeah. One more thing is that it is a demo. Like, we get that. It's a demo. Hmm. I don't personally think there's going to be any huge graphical... Or performance changes from the demo to the release mm. but if there is that's an extra bonus you know um but to go into the graphics a bit more in depth you know graphics encompasses like the textures the fidelity the fps of the game um and for me i really those things really matter for me i really like having 60 frames i really like having a good refresh rate i really like having uh you know textures that you don't visibly see repeating or you can't visibly see like the pixelation in it and so when i'm talking about you know the graphics lacked in some areas if you climb to the top of a, a mountain or a cliff you can't deny that the textures are repeating they look they look muddy they they don't look that good but that's okay because the gameplay is also really good and that's a passing thing when you're slaying monsters you're not just stood there staring at a wall you know what's but bad about that is that yeah. like the actual character models and the yeah. monsters look amazing. Like for mm. even beyond yep. the Switch game, just for like a normal game, like the actual character models. So they've obviously used like most of like their technical resources on the things that like count, but like yeah. the environment counts as well because it like takes up like 70% of your screen if you really think about it, so yeah. Yeah, the, the characters definitely look really good. The monsters look really good. The weapons and the armor on the characters, really impressed with as well. So happy that we're getting unique weapons back. Mm. Like that was a real, 
loss in world, Definitely. a lot of the weapons being yeah. the drumsticks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to the drumsticks, um, you know. <laughs> but at the same at the same thing, if you look at uh, like uh, Mizu's bubbles, you know, they, they don't look very good. They're just literally giant <laughs> color blobs floating towards you. Uh, so there are there are those sort of graphical fidelity uh, things in there that aren't that impressive. But to respond to what a lot of guys in the comments were saying, like, oh, we would rather have aesthetics over graphics. And that's a topic that I actually agree with. I would much rather have an aesthetically pleasing experience. And that's why I, I personally was confused when I was reading those comments. And maybe you can let me know down in the comments exactly what you meant by that. Because for me, knowing the Monster Hunter aesthetic is, you know, a more high detailed Japanese influenced game, I think that they really pulled that off in world because they could really get a lot of that high detail. They could make the characters look very realistic. They could really make the, the monsters have like really detailed scales and furs and the detail in their eyes and all of that kind of stuff. But when it's come to Switch, which is obviously a less powerful console, obviously handheld as well, hmm. they can't fit all of that in. So I think that I like the Monster Hunter aesthetic, but because it's on Switch, it doesn't look I think yeah. the one let amazing. Let me, just, let me yeah. just jump in there as well. Okay. Like, that's not us saying that World was the most amazing looking game. Like, no, yeah. I think the first time I picked up World, I was like, this looks good for like, it looks okay for a console game. It doesn't even look great for like the power of the PS4 or PS5. And I had this really muddy thing around it and these like oh, muted yeah. tones. And I think that is my biggest issue with like these new Monster Hunter games. Cause in like For You and uh, even Try and all these other games, I remember playing against Laggy Acris on that map. What was that map in the, um, uh... the water one that looked amazing? Yeah, I, thought, oh, I know what you mean, but I, the, I always forget the name. Like, yeah, what was the name of it? What, the, like, the <laughs> forgotten I, I think one. it's Forgotten Eye. Yeah, Island, whatever it is, but it looks amazing. Yeah. And, look, and there's a con there was like a contrast between the colours on that, and I think it's just been like muted. Even in this game, it's just so muted, and all the colours been yeah. drawn out by the more like the more powerful the platforms have got, the more like the less colour that freaking mm. Monster yeah. got, but like Monster Hunter has, and it's there's just definitely, like it's yeah. a bit weird. No, you're definitely definitely right. There is, I mean, there's definitely. I would say if you compare like. Rise to World. Rise is definitely a more vibrant, colourful game, but if you do compare yeah, it to definitely. like the older ones, I, de I definitely know what you mean. Like That's one thing that also surprised me when it came to World. Like It might be graphically you know, a competent and impressive game. But yeah, it was definitely, that's one thing that I missed because I always loved, like, you would always have like, you know, bright, like you could, you could look at a hunt, look, you could look at a gathering hub in like For You and someone would be there in like bright blue armor. Someone would be there in bright red armor. Like it was just like a mm -hmm. colorful rainbow of just like bright over the top stuff, which was always really, really cool. Um, Rise has definitely brought that back to a degree, but I know what you mean. It might not be quite as vibrant, but they've, they're, they're, I think that's definitely where people are kind of like getting that enjoyment from because you look at how they presented like the gathering hub and stuff and it's like, you know, very sort of, bright Japanese colours and all that kind of like, you know, the Sakura pops. blossoms and stuff. It, it definitely good. pops. So yeah. to, me, it, to me, it still looks muted and that's why, mm. like when I'm playing, yeah. especially in like eight player hunts, a lot of the detail that I would like to see like on mm. like uh, Mizu is like lost essentially because there isn't that contrast between like, the ground and stuff. It maybe it would just yeah. be the armor sets that we've been chosen and the areas or whatever. Yeah. It's just the yeah. well, I was gonna, I was gonna say, do you, think, the... do you think it might be down to like, cause you know, we spoke, we spoke about this in the first discussion. Like, I don't know why they always choose a forest in the demos. Yeah, cause you know, like one. the most recent trailer, right? And you sort of see that footage of the Gunlance user in the Magnamolo armor in the snowy frosty islands fighting against like mm. That's quite vibrant because you've got that nice contrast between the Magnamolo armor and the white landscape. I feel yeah. like anytime you're in a forest, in most of the games, everything just looks kind of muddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's th that's definitely a thing. And just even to say more, like when you're in like the snowy area and you see like them doing all the visual effects that are like bright mm. colors, it has that really nice like contrast to it. Whereas fighting like Mizu in the demo, there's like these open like water areas that are really like muddy and muted. But I, I agree that I actually do think Rise has more vibrant color than World. For some reason with World, they chose to go with like a filter that just completely takes like makes it muted and changes the contrast or or whatever it just didn't mm. have a it didn't have a good filter on it but the graphical fidelity in world was obviously was obviously quite yeah. good uh i hope that they can even go even further than that as well but to roll back to the aesthetics of rise being that traditional monster hunter high detailed like japanese stylized aesthetic for me because it's on switch and it can't get that you know really high detail in there and again as a monster hunter OG like on my 3DS you know obviously doesn't look very good on the 3DS but we do move forward it's competing against other games on all different consoles price wise so it matters and I think if they maybe went for a different aesthetic for Rise that the game would actually look even better 
Like, mm -hmm. imagine if Rise was in a Breath of the Wild style. If it was, like, cell shaded Or maybe they went full-on anime, like Xenoblade. Or maybe they went with their, like, an, a sort of cutesy, chibi, uh, cleanly polished style like uh, Mario Odyssey. I think that the game, while not having the... Gra like, those games don't have high graphical yeah, fidelity. The textures aren't go... high, but the aesthetics are super clean. Yeah, it doesn't even need to necessarily go that way, because Astral Chain, I think, looks very good for a Nintendo Switch game, and I think people overlook that. People were like, oh, this is the best, one of the best-looking Switch games. I don't personally agree with that that this is one of the best looking switch games i think the best looking switch games are ones that are stylized and I, the reason that i really Definitely. like stylized games mm. is because they're kind of future proof if you go back and you think about like yeah. wind waker mm. wind waker still looks good now like it looks amazing the wii u version looks good and if they went for that especially with the japanese theme they could have got like ink swipes on the slashes and really cool like animations okami and stuff like that right? that been okami been is yeah. type like yeah. uh, style for it and it would just looked amazing by the way, I just want to make another statement here. This is not us saying that we wanted the game to look like World. I think the game was trying to kind of look like and mix between World and old Monster Hunter games. And I feel like that that is where it was a misstep because it's always going to get that comparison between Rise and World. But they should have stuck to the strength of Switch and went with a stylized manner. Even Nintendo doesn't really make like realistic looking games because they know the strength is in mm. like art style choice and with like a reduction in art style choice you can actually get like less detail in environment less t uh, uh, texture resources and you can maybe up the frame rate and people would have appreciated maybe hitting 60 on this game they, i don't know yeah, if it was they possible. could have got maybe, i don't know if that's possible maybe. but I even if it's possible, oh, yeah. a 60 fps game on switch i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie right you know what, like so I, nice. although you know I'm, I'm still in the camp where like i do like the way that rise looks anyway like, i i enjoy it yeah. but i'm not gonna lie if it, like, thinking about it now, because I, I was playing Hyrule Warriors over Christmas. If they made a Monster Hunter mm. game in the style of Hyrule Warriors, which is... It looks amazing! It looks amazing. It would amazing. be like, so cool, yeah. I mean, Hyrule Warriors and is it very would, like, to... like 26 just said, it would be so much more timeless. Like, you could play it in five years, and it doesn't matter if everyone's plugged into the Sword Art Online Matrix. <laughs> the game would still look good because it's stylized in that way. Mm. Um, I Just to say this as well, I think... If you look at Rise compared to like the last game that was a handheld launch, which was GU, which is obviously generations but brought to Switch, mm. then there's a huge improvement. So if you've been playing mm. GU for hundreds of hours, Rise is like, whoa, it looks amazing. I'm so happy they've done this. And I agree with that. But yeah. GU is just basically generations brought to Switch. And generations is kind of getting old now, you know? So you can compare the jump of the two and they look really good, but you should really be comparing Rise, in my opinion, against other modern Switch titles like Mario Odyssey, like Xenoblade, you know, like like these other kind of games. And the closest Monster Hunter game is World, and we didn't even really compare against World in our last discussion. We were just yeah, people purely talking about that. the gameplay and the graphics, <laughs> but I don't think we actually brought World up. In terms, I think, in terms I, think of the I know what that is. They probably have a bunch of friends that are just like, oh, this game looks like normie friends that like, or just like usual friends that just like compare it to world and just be like, I'm not playing this because it looks like dog or whatever. But for us, like, I still think that the game looks amazing for a Nintendo Switch game, hmm. but I feel like I would have just massively preferred it if they've gone for a different art style. Doesn't necessarily need to be cartoony, just like the rendering style of the game. Like they could take the same proportions and everything, just add a little, it would have just added that literal extra piece of like flair to me. And uh, it's kind of weird that they've gone for this style where it's like all the resources are on the player character and the the weapons and the monsters which is which is the the important part but like the environment where the one of the draws of the game is like exploring looks kind of like dog and then you can mm. show a picture of whoever's editing of dog mountain at that point but yeah <laughs> it's like it, it looks weird they made the focus on verticality in rise with the silk bind with being able to wall yeah. run to fly into the sky Yet, in the demo that we've played, you know, a lot of the, those vertical areas are really graphically, visually mm. not that good. And that's what we were talking about. We weren't saying, it doesn't look like World, I hate it. We're saying, <laughs> from an objective point of view, a lot of the areas are open, some of them are barren, some of the textures aren't very good. And that's just, that's just the fact, that's the Switch console, you know, that's all it can do. We're not saying, yeah. we're not saying it doesn't look like World, we're just saying... It doesn't visually look very good, com considering yeah, like a, that it like is a trip, like right? a 50, 60 yeah. pound game that's coming out. 
yeah. It's like in this in-between ground between like, you know the old school Monster Hunter games? I was going back through and I was looking at some of like the old school Monster Hunter games. The, the, the textures were simpler, so you could like see your hunter a lot more. Like I remember like a bunch of stuff on those games where you're looking at like the monster and you can clearly see the hunter on top of mm. like the ground textures and everything. But on in Rise, they've gone for this very kind of semi-detailed texture look to it and you can distinctly see where it's like repeating and i don't think it necessarily like works as much as uh, we would want it to but if you look at the starting screen and you look at um what's her name uh hino uh, and, and Min no hino and the no. other one oh, you're uh, talking about the minato, minato isn't it Min minato yeah. Right, right, right. uh yeah like the character model on that looks amazing and everything but then you look at like the actual tree in the background and you look at like the, the balcony shows the, the balcony that she's standing on and the umbrella and then the textures are just like no why have you done this please this could have looked so so good to me but i'm still going to be super satisfied and ready to play this mm. game when it comes mm. out i think it's going to be amazing monster Hunter game uh, we've when been it comes loving the, de the demo in fact like me and two six are the ones that are really primarily talking about the graphics like Arix and uh, Vestmore, you guys don't mind the graphics so much. You guys are more like uh, I'm you're happy to play on your on your I'm... SNES. You're happy to yeah. play on your 3DS still, and yeah. that's fine. You know, um, I'm busy just swinging <laughs> around the world. I still think me. <laughs> yeah. ne you never me... cared about graphics, though, right? No, no. I've, I've like I, I think, but the thing is, you know what? I, I think uh, this is one of those interesting things. Whenever we have these discussions, because I mean, I, I know obviously, like you know, two six, you play you, you play like you know so many games when you when you grew up. But like for me, like I grew up. Um, as a Nintendo kid, and I, I didn't even like I didn't even get a PlayStation until PS3, so I was always Nintendo. So like I've literally for a good chunk of my life, like at least half my life, I was like gameplay, 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 graphics, right? Whereas obviously I missed out on like PlayStation One, PlayStation Two. I missed out on like loads of these in incredible games. Um, so for me, like graphics has just never been a thing. Like I'm just like, eh, yeah, I can give it, like. You know what it is for me? It's like when you watch a Pixar film. And you've seen how like the progression from like the last film that they've made is kind of mesmerizing as well. Mm. And I feel like while you have like game built into different components, right? You have like the sound, which is like really adds to your nostalgia about a game, right? When you okay. think about a game, you think of the soundtrack like first. And then you have the gameplay, which is like your fun. And then you have like your graphics, which is your spectacle. It's all a package. They're not mutually exclusive. Just because you yeah. have good gameplay doesn't mean that you need to have bad graphics you know you know what i'm saying you can have all of them in one package and that's all i'm aiming for i want monster hunter to be the mm. best possible game that it could be and i feel like one of the areas that it is lacking is in that graphical package that we're talking about in terms yeah. of aesthetics and all of, all of that stuff I wonder, it's not like capcom doesn't have the money for it they just come off of like monster hunter world which is yeah. like some yeah top selling game or whatever they do should make think, sure that they're investing do you think there's any possible. do you i mean obviously this is all like Rumor, rumor craziness, but like, you know, obviously the rumors going around now for like the Switch Pro potentially. Like, do you think maybe it's one of those ones and where PC, like. PC, right? It, it yeah. might come out to PC. That's yeah. one of the rumors. Yeah. But do you wonder like, whether, PC. like, you know, but even even with like the Switch Pro, do you, you know, like sometimes when there's like those new consoles come out, they start developing for that newer hardware and they're just like, uh, oh, hell. I have a feeling it is like that. Yeah. yeah. What you're about to say, yep, 100%. Like, carry just, on. The Pro that will come so out and people will be like, oh, <laughs> oh, this looks mad. Yeah. You'll be like, uh, oh no, time to upgrade. <laughs> with a texture pack as well i just feel yeah. like because they've left Possibly, out the background yeah. it feels like it's like almost made for like another platform and it's going to be like a texture pack that comes out that just upgrades all of that stuff and everything's clean because like from we've worked on games me and alex have worked on games and paradise and stuff know uh and best know about like how game development is just through like exposure to it and we yeah. like going to like all these meetings and stuff i just feel like it's using a lower like LOD resolution on those textures and then it's like another one just kind of hit hidden in the back ready to go for like another platform yeah like 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 a placeholder that's been swapped in so yeah. that it can perform well on the current switch basically yeah mm. um but there's there is an important thing to say which you've already touched on t6 that a lot of people are saying we would rather have good gameplay than uh good gameplay and bad graphics than bad gameplay and good graphics and that's like that's obvious for any game. We, all of us, all four of us here would rather have good gameplay mm. and bad graphics than bad gameplay and good graphics. Shout out That's... to Among Us, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, exactly. Uh, we, gameplay is the core most important thing. And we all said in the previous video, and, and I'll say again, like we all really enjoy the gameplay in Rise. I, I'm pretty sure I said in the previous uh, video that 
the graphics can be overlooked when you're swinging around like Spider-Man with a silk bug doing a flips and, and everything in the air. Uh, but they're not mutually exclusive things. You know, there is crunch. There is uh, like COVID going around. So developers are uh, set back right now. And so maybe they had to, or maybe it's a choice now in a lot of games that they need to divert attention to certain aspects of the game and forego other aspects because, you know, they need to hit deadlines, they need to uh, get their shareholders happy and their publishers happy and all of that. But you can still have a game with good gameplay and good graphics. And when, like you said, it's someone like Capcom that have a lot of money, they can still do it. Um, I just and feel like people are feel in some type of way because all of these games that I've come out with like good f fidelity I've just been like had like terrible gameplay like, they <laughs> yeah. like good graphics to bad gameplay now yeah. because like game developers don't know what they're doing <laughs> oh, rushing been on a roll like, there's a little... been a roll of bad games lately uh, yeah. in terms of their gameplay which is really really unfortunate just for the gaming industry as a but whole 2021 but... so turn it around with Rise and, Let's with, hope. and with Let's Zelda hope. fingers crossed um but again we're all talking here like on a YouTube like video, on a discussion review. And if we aren't critical, if all people that review or have eyes on them when it comes to the gaming scene aren't critical of games, then the games will decay in their quality. If we don't say we would like to see this improve, we'd like to see the graphics improve, we'd like to see something tweaked here or you know there's a performance issue here, then they're likely to never get addressed and never get fixed if there isn't that uh, like verbal communication uh, with everyone that w will buy the game. So if we did a video that just never talked about anything we didn't like and was just positive stuff, it wouldn't be doing a service to you guys either, which I think all of us want to, you know, make sure we're doing what's what's right for for ourselves, what's right for the viewers and what's right for everyone's purchase decision. Because to go back on what I said before, Rise might be like someone's only purchase of the year or their only purchase of three four five six months because it's a 50 or 60 pound game and it's there's so many games that release in a year you know so it's an important decision when people pick up that title and we want yeah. to make sure that if if something we can say can improve the game then we're gonna say it yeah it's like alex said in the last video that this is going to be his like favorite monster hunter game and i simply said he says that on every video i just don't want people to take that statement and get overhyped and like mm. maybe misled that that's a true statement to alex this is yeah. probably going to be one of his favorite games and he says that for every monster hunter game because the next monster hunter game is his favorite like monster hunter game <laughs> but like yeah. not yeah that statement might not necessarily be true and people will take it like it's going to be like Oh, the second, the be all and end all of video games for, for them, and I don't want them to come back after the game's release and be like, "Why did Eric say this? Why did you say that?" So I just you told to have me to buy decision. this game. You told me to buy this game. Like no one has told you to buy. You Rise. told me like, not to buy <laughs> lunch yeah. and buy this game instead. Now I have no food <laughs> exactly. and no game. <laughs> yeah, it's happening. You know, could for for like for me like. I believe that there could be people out there that are playing like the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 5, they're picking up all of the games on there and having a great time. Then they see Rise and they're like, well, it looks really fun, but it doesn't look as good as all the other games I play. And that's where when we say, you know, the graphics aren't like aren't amazing and they aren't that good, but the gameplay is super insane and you can fly through the air and drop bombs and all of that stuff. It's it's a way to, to communicate that with that person. It's mm. it's obvious that if you're a GU or a G or a previous Monster Hunter player that this is a huge jump for the handheld Monster it. Hunter scene. You're loving it. <laughs> but remember that like World brought, brought in like a huge audience and big eyes on Monster Hunter and you know Rise is a Switch game and it's world, the next world, handheld world game. Put Monster but it, like the thing is just to appreciate like well like I think a lot of people sleep on or don't show world enough respect like even there's a lot of people out there that say like you know might have been like a fan of like GU and they're like I didn't like what the uh, world did but people tried to say that world made the game easier right but like they, people need to put respect on world because world legitimately you can't even like well put monster hunter on the map i've been a fan of the game for a long time right but like mm -hmm. even up until even though for you was a fantastic game gu was a fantastic game like it was still hard for a lot of people to get in the game it wasn't until monster like it used to be the point where people were like what's your favorite game series i'd be like oh zelda and monster hunter they're like what's monster hunter now when you <laughs> say it with world people are like oh i know what this game is right world yep. genuinely put it on the map people come like whether you want to agree with that or not it doesn't matter like the numbers do not lie like yeah it's, it's fun, like, and also it's funny because a lot of people are like, oh well, I didn't like World because they made the game easy. 
Very important distinction. The team that are behind Rise, right? They said the same thing in Generations Ultimate. When they made GU and they made Generations, they were like, ah, oh, just so you know, and they said this in an interview, they were like, just so you know, the game will probably be easier because we want to incentivize people to try out hunter arts and new weapons. The same thing will probably be the case in Riot, whereby it will probably be an easier Monster Hunter game because a lot of the time this team, this director, wants to incentivize people trying weapons and trying new moves over just being like, this is a hardcore experience. So when people are like, oh, I don't even feel like Monster Hunter was a hardcore experience. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I mean, you, you, it was a learning curve, but yeah. it wasn't like a massive, mm. like, difficulty spike in no. terms of like, you I've never clapped every time. Definitely. Yeah, you got no. it, you got it. I've never, yeah, that's true. I've, I've never played Monster Hunter because I'm like, I, I play Monster Hunter because I want to play a difficult game. I'm like, I play Monster Hunter because I like hunting monsters and making cool armor. Like, if I want to play a difficult game, I'm going to play Dark Souls. <laughs> Yeah. You know. It's like, you just chuckle when you cart in Monster Hunter anyway, right? It's like, oh yeah, we carted, we go again, and it, you just yeah. go, and it's just a fun time, you know what I'm well, saying? Well, thanks like, to the new voice carts. lines. There's a voice line yeah. that's like, you can do better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no, really? I'm not they gonna go on, one. They gonna roast you. Mm. That's amazing. What do you think, Vess, about all of this? I don't know, man. Uh, I, I think you guys are spitting facts, to be honest. Like, I, I, I think it's, uh, it's been a good clarification um, of everything. Uh, just to quickly clarify my point, guys. Um, I am very much someone who plays many, many, many old <laughs> games. These guys roast me on a daily for it. I play stuff like Neverwinter Nights, Jedi Academy. I do not give a anything about graphics, okay? I, I, that is like... I don't need People that to enjoy a game. People were roasting you in the last video. They were which like, is fine, which is fine. I mean, but... was there, he like, wants it to look like a world. <laughs> what? But you've what got... A, what, one thing about a discussion is that a discussion is a discussion, right? It's, it's good to bounce ideas off of each other. And uh, I think, you know, the offending thing, if you will, that I said last um, video was just that, yeah, I, I, I can kind of put my hand on my chest and be like, yeah, um... You know, if the graphics were better, that wouldn't be a bad thing. Like, and by better, it, it's not to say that the graphics are terrible, unacceptable, like garbage, by the way. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I, I can only obviously speak for yeah. me. But I, I think the boys, I think I can safely say the boys feel the same way. But it's just literally, like, it's that they could be better. Like, it's, you, you, there is no way anybody can, like, sit there and tell me that the graphics for Rise are the best ever graphics cannot be improved in any way right like that that's all we're lying to ourselves at that point um granted you know to make it clear i don't mind like i've been playing monster hunter since for you like love the graphics then like or didn't matter to me you know because monster Hunter's just a fun game uh love them now it's not gonna stop me from playing it but it's just yeah. like yeah and, and we're not trying to say oh don't get this game because the graphics are bad and stuff like like paradise was saying it's, it's kind of a way to sort of like speak to the the players who don't have the same experience as uh, you and me, you know, like um, the ones who came in on the world and are probably like, huh? like, why is the, why is it kind of like almost, you know, taken that step back? And it's, it's kind of for us to be like, look, guys, like, even though um, graphically it's, it's maybe not what you were expecting, because imagine this, right? Imagine you, um, you played like uh, the newest Call of Duty, right? Just to, just to put a completely generic game out there that everyone's probably played, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then... The next Call of Duty, the next big one that everyone's getting hype about, is a Switch exclusive and has kind of like, you know, maybe dropped some features, dropped some, uh, dropped in uh, graphical fidelity. It's kind of a different style. Like, how would, like, just on the surface, and you, you weren't someone who followed the series for long, how would you feel about that? You'd kind of be like, why did they do this? That uh, literally whereas, happened, didn't it? Yeah, it happened and that's with, like, literally Black Ops happened. or something, right? Shout out to uh, our friend at university that used to play the, the Wii U version with motion controls in Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So well, there you go. So controls imagine, have made a comeback. <laughs> imagine Maybe he the, was right this whole time. He was saying motion controls and gyro were like yeah, the future of aiming and everyone's telling us in the comments yeah. that it's it. And yeah. Well, actually, let's, let's just talk about gyro. I mean, well, well, we well, we did we'll talk about... Oh, sorry. Let me finish my point. We'll touch on gyro in a sec, but like, imagine... So yeah, imagine the like Call of Duty Black Ops or the World at War like Wii version was the only version of World at War. You would be like, what? Like it'd be weird, right? So 
in us kind of like saying like you know obviously the graphics can be better but the gameplay is insane and it's still the great experience that you'd probably be expecting it's it's almost a way to kind of reassure those people and just kind of be like you know check out the demo like give it give it a try if you have the means give it a spin because, give, give it, it a, a spin taste, yeah it? exactly because mm, exactly. even, even though graphically and just on the whole it may look like it's a like on the very surface level may look like it's a step down from world um graphically and in some mechanics um it's not and you know there's a, some great improvements there's some great mechanics in there uh, and you should definitely give it a try like the demo at the very least so yeah that's kind of like mm -hmm. think of it from mm -hmm. that angle guys like <clears throat> but yeah let's talk about Jarrah, and we cause... all are like having super much fun on the demo I i'm really yeah, like, dude. each of us are super enjoying the game yeah it's man. really good it's really good fun and although yeah. I, you know with the world yeah. in the state it is now I, d I doubt anyone's going to the park to to play their handhold gaming just mm. because you want to stay away from people mm. you know it's, it, it can still be played on this on the couch with your family you know yeah, and that is a definitely. really cool feature to have um but to, to, let's talk about gyro for a second because yeah, that dude. was an interesting point of a uh, conversation before since doing that i've actually gone and tested out using just gyro for for aiming not right. for moving and uh, we were recently talking on stream about how like in the splatoon esports scene gyro is you know, an important Metal. thing for being yeah. actually accurate and being at that high tier level of play. Mm -hmm. And I can kind of see it being like that in Monster Hunter. Like, it, it really, uh, you can really, it almost what gives you like using? a mouse control with the Pro Controller. So oh, if you turn the settings to just like gyro on, but then just to effect while aiming. Mm. So you know when you hold L2, you get the reticule in the middle. Yeah. It controls the movement for that. And it's really small movements with your wrist. It's not like you having to like shake it around like crazy. Mm -hmm. And it does give you that like that feeling of precision in a Switch game, which I think is the same at how it is in Splatoon. And it's a really cool thing to do. I definitely recommend uh, trying it oh, out. I think it try. it, yeah, it's definitely. a learning curve, though. Be be yeah. prepared to learn <laughs> when you do it. <laughs> but yeah. Gyro I don't is like very change. Cool. I don't like change. I'm not using gyro. <laughs> to be fair, like I, I think that's Monster Hunter so. fans in general. They're just like. I don't like change anyway, so it's like, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I didn't realize how many people like dislike World though, man. It's actually, yeah, it like, is insane. a mystery to me. I don't know how I'm you could dislike yeah. any Monster Hunter game. Like, if you're a Monster Hunter fan, just love all the Monster Hunter games. They have not made mm. a bad Monster Hunter game. Simple. Mm. You call yourself yeah, a fan, yeah. you should like every Monster Hunter game. I'm just saying. Well, there's, but you haven't played like half of them because there's like so many on mobile, right? Oh. And uh, the MMO ones. Well, no, I mean, ones I mean, as well. Yeah. Come on, Alex. I've, no, that's, that's fair. <laughs> the only ones I missed, to be fair, were obviously on the PlayStation 2. Apparently, Not that, a true fan like a me. True, true. <laughs> well, that, and also, the one on mobile was basically just like uh, Freedom Unite. Like, I played I played the Chinese one. You know, I kind of like that one. I like that. I like Monster Hunter we Online. We played that oh, MMO, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we that didn't, was, that we was, didn't play that Frontier, but we did play Monster Hunter Online. That was, that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. It was cool. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Cool. Anyway, I think it's nice uh, to like wrap up here and you guys kind of know where Definitely. our position is and we can clarify a little bit more. But as we did last time, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to question ask a controversial question that isn't controversial this time. This one is going to be, what is the best definitive Monster Hunter game? Oh wow! I want to hear what your uh, explanations of it. I don't even want to just hear you saying, "Oh, it's this game." I want to know why it's that game. Like, I, in, I, in the comments. I think I know what people are gonna say, but I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to influence. Yeah, they, we can't. We can't influence their yeah, thing. I think I know what they're gonna thing. say. I know exactly what you guys are gonna say, and let me just tell you, you're completely right. Big up. You know what? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna say just to annoy people and make it actually controversial. The best game is World. <laughs> I knew it was coming. The best okay. game is Monster Hunter Rise, based on the demo alone. <laughs> we'll leave it that. I'm, not, I'm not, not gonna say what I was gonna say, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. let me down, guys. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, thanks for joining in for another discussion, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We want to do more of this stuff anyway. We want to chat about some different stuff. Yeah. If there's some like, if there's some topics you want us to chat about, maybe you want us to talk mm -hmm. about, you know, weapons. We were gonna do. We, we are still gonna do, by the way, a fashion discussion where we talk about the armor sets yes. and the demo. So stay tuned for the fashion show. Uh, but yeah, we just want to do more discussion stuff. So if you guys want us to talk about stuff, let us know what stuff we should talk about. But yeah, we all have our labels on the screen this time as well. And you can yeah. catch us over on our respective channels as well. I have Indeed. a YouTube channel. Paradise has got a YouTube channel. Vest has got Twitch and all of his old social media. And we stream on Twitch uh, Monster Hunter a lot of the time. So mm. it's there. So definitely, I'm 269. Someone say their name. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm Paradise Central as well. Um, just to expand a little bit more, we're all Arix Gaming as well. So yeah, yeah. if you're um, if you're watching a video, we've all influenced it. And if you're watching a stream, you're supporting Arix Gaming. Indeed. Hmm. And that's Mess Moore. By the there way. you go. Hello. Mess <laughs> 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 didn't even introduce himself. Like, well, I mean, Pat, I was just letting Pat. He's like, speak. by process <laughs> of elimination, there are only two people left. And he's like, I'm not Arix. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> there you go. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll catch you Indeed. in the next one. Have a good Bye. one. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arix Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.